hi guys it's so good to be here again thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate your time and your support so far yes we are growing and i really appreciate you thank you for always liking and commenting on our videos yes i really appreciate you and guess what the you know the ethiopian airline has the five federal government resumptions date and they decided to fly whoa it is only in nigeria that we see uh, people breaking the rules it is so unfortunate that uh, federal government is yet to resume the ban of flight international flight and yet ethiopian flight is already flying and don't forget that ethiopian flight is the largest uh, flight in uh, africa and for them to defy such a thing you should know the number of people that they would have carried out of the country and it is so unfair it is so unprofessional for the airport authorities to allow any flight that is not authorized to fly at this point in time yeah anyway i'll give you details of this shortly uh and what really happened but before then if you haven't subscribed please do and also ensure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime we drop a new video okay without further ado let us dive right into the details of this report and don't forget a federal government says that uh, uh, international flight will start any time from now yes all of those details you will get right here in this video okay said so there was indications on Wednesday that some international airline operators may have been violating the ban on international commercial flights as Ethiopian Airlines indicated that it would fly the Lagos-London route on Friday. The federal government had imposed a ban on both domestic and international flights in March as a measure to contain the spread of coronavirus pandemic. Domestic flights, however, resumed on July 8, while the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Siriki, Sirika, recently announced that international flights would resume from August 29th. However, ahead of the resumption from August 29th, Ethiopian Airlines is scheduled to operate a commercial flight from Mortala Mohammed International Airport on Friday, August 21st. Checks by one of our correspondents show that the airline would operate two commercial flights to London from Lagos on Friday. As one of the time of checking the website of the airline www.ethiopianairlines.com on Wednesday, one of the flights was said to have only to have only seats left the first flight will leave lagos motala mohammed airport at 11:40 for london heathrow airport with a stopover at addis ababa airport the et553 boeing 787.8 flight will leave lagos and stop over at ethiopia switching to an et700 airbus a350 flight for the remainder of the journey its cost was quoted as from 619,561 naira. The duration was put at 19 hours 20 minutes. The second flight is scheduled to leave Lagos Motala Mohammed International Airport for London Heathrow Airport at 16.30 with a stopover at Addis Ababa Airport. The ET509 Boeing 787-8 flight will leave Lagos and stop over at Addis Ababa switching to an ET700 Airbus A350 flight for the remainder of the journey. The cost was put at from 390,269 Naira with only one seat left. The duration of the flight is 14 hours 13 minutes when asked why the airline was running the commercial flights before the reopening of the international flight. Ethiopian Airlines media consultant Mr. Ike Uko said he was not aware of the status of the flights he said i do not know which website you saw i do not have a clue i do not know if they are doing evacuation flights to london i know the nigerian government hired them to do evacuation flights from america nigeria government uses airpeace and other private airlines the this one i have no clue he added the nigerian government is one doing evacuation flights and it's and if it is a private company, they will advertise. If you saw one and it is not the government, maybe you find out from the company. What I know ET is doing is on behalf of the Nigerian government from America. I have no clue. I know Nigeria has not opened an airport. The airline also scheduled to fly from Lagos to London on both August 29th and 31st, subject to approval by the Nigerian government. 
when contacted the Director of Public Affairs, Federal Minister of Aviation, James Odaudu, said no commercial flights had been, had been cleared to lift passengers. He insisted that commercial, interna commercial international flights would only resume operations on August 29, as earlier announced by Sirica. Odaudu said, I don't have the details of that Ethiopian Airlines flight, but if it is on August 21st, then it is likely to be an evacuation flight. Commercial flights on international routes are to begin August 29th. All evacuation flights are to end on August 25th, but before then, there is no commercial flight that is cleared to carry out commercial international operations. We also gather that on August 2nd, exclusively report that some charter airlines had begun offering services to members of the public despite a ban on international flights by the federal government due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Stakeholders, are, however, have stated that the special and evacuation flight plan of government had been abused. The Secretary General Aviation Safety Roundtable Initiative and an Aviation Security Consultant Group, Captain Jern, Ojikutu retired, has stated there was a need to define what the government meant by special flights. Oju, Ojikutu said evacuation needs to be done by government or an internationally recognized organization such as Red Cross United Nations who pay for the flight while moving people around. He added, but when an individual is not paying for his or her flight, I would that that kind of evacuation that is because such individual is now a passenger of that airline he is paying to meanwhile the overseas security advisory council in its august 11 health alert said that the u.s consulate general in lagos scheduled two evacuation flights from lagos to washington dc via addis ababa on ethiopia airline flights it said august 13 and 21st at the departure date discounting its announcement august 9th that all evacuation flights would end August. So, guys, you've heard it. Uh, that was um, generally from the uh, aviation industry and uh, uh, a minister and all of them talking about not knowing if Ethiopian flight is supposed to fly or not. It's so unfortunate. But, well, guys, you've heard it all. You can drop your comments on what you think about this uh, uh, development or would we call it a development or rather a, a failure? Because really, if it's not yet resumed and some are already running uh, international flights and already passengers are already paying for them to fly and they are saying they are left with just one seat, then my dear, it is so unfortunate. But anyway, I'll be waiting to hear from you and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for staying tuned to have a pleasant time. Bye for now.